Hi, I'm Pat Patterson, Community Champion at Streamsets, and I'm going to give you a little look at an origin I've created to read data from Salesforce via the bulk API. So here's my pipeline, a very simple pipeline for testing, just reading records from Salesforce and writing them into uh, the local uh, file system. So let's have a look at the config. So we've got the username and password to log into Salesforce. We specify the authentication endpoint, so login.salesforce.com for uh, developer editions or production, test.salesforce.com for sandboxes. Uh, the Salesforce API version, and uh, this is going to look familiar to you if you've used uh, stream sets before, in particular the JDBC uh, origin. So we can run in incremental mode where we're going to read uh, new records as they arrive in Salesforce. And what we're doing here is we're running this query, so basically getting all of the fields from Opportunity. And you'll see the where and the order by clauses here mean that we uh, select on ID being greater than some value, ordering by ID. So we want uh, the oldest first uh, only when uh, ID is greater than this offset. And this offset is what allows us to do incremental mode. Uh, we're using ID as the offset field and the initial offset is all zero. So that's a 15 character Salesforce record ID. So initially every record will have an ID greater than this and then uh, stream sets will keep the last uh, offset value so that it can do those incremental queries. And for this example, I'm going to query it every 10 seconds you probably wouldn't query force.com this often or you're going to burn your uh, API calls pretty rapidly. Um, I've set the default to be a minute. Okay, so uh, let's just make sure we reset the origin because we've been playing with this earlier, of course, and uh, see what happens when we press play. So what we sh should see is uh, after just a few seconds, we've got eight records here. If we go look in the opportunities in Salesforce, we can see there's eight records there. And let's go look on our local disk. So we've got them going to temp out. So let's say uh, cat 2016, the file there. So it's kind of hard to see things here, but we're writing out the JSON representation of the opportunities there. And I can um, pretty print it. So you can see there, that's the last opportunity it um, uh, emitted there. And this is, uh, what's this? Salesforce 2000 widgets uh, is the name of that opportunity. And we can see the incremental mode in operation. If I go over to Salesforce and create a new opportunity, and I'll say opportunity name demo, I'll set it for the Acme account. I'll set the close date for say three months from today. And of course we're prospecting, we just created this opportunity. If we save here, go back over here, and within a few seconds what we should see is this number, yep, the number ticks up to nine. And if we go over here and uh, just cat that file, we should see right at the end there, let's pretty print it again. Uh, we should see that we've got this opportunity here, yep, and the name is demo. So that's flowed through the pipeline uh, within 10 seconds of uh, creating it. And because we're using the bulk API, we can uh, work with many more than you know the handful of records that we're, we're seeing here. So what I did was I created um, a, an object, a custom object in Salesforce just called uh, record. And we have just like a load of test data there. And if I go over to the developer console and run a count query, I can see that there are uh, just over half a million records there. So this is almost as many as you can get in a uh, partner um, enterprise org. I've just about filled my data allocation here. So I can go to my uh, another um, pipeline here and this one I've set to select all of those fields from uh, record and let's see let's see what happens when we press play
Oh, and there it is. Uh, it's got some query results back. And oh, and we're processing records. So you'll see once it actually gets those results back, uh, it processes processes them very quickly. It basically it's uh, it runs that asynchronous query, and then all the data comes back. And you can see we're processing uh, like hundreds of thousands in just a few seconds. So let's see, 500, 510,000. And again, we can go over and look at them uh, in the directories here. That should be in 21 there. So let's see, cat, oh, let's see, uh, let's do tail. Well, you don't want to cat a file with um, half a million lines in it. Uh, so yeah, we can see there, they have got these test records here and I can grab one, um, pretty print it. And uh, we can see their data, 9999, uh, the record ID, and so on. And um, yeah, we can even do incremental mode here. We can create, uh, let's create a record manually. Um, blah. Uh, and then we should see, again, over here, uh, within about 10 seconds, that ticks up to number one. And then if we tail the file again, um, we should see yeah, that record that says blah there, let's just pretty print it for completeness. Um, there we go. So um, there you have it, a, a StreamSets data collector origin for Salesforce that uses the bulk API to um, import uh, hundreds of thousands of records. Um, it should work with millions of records in just a few seconds and then uh, scan Salesforce periodically for uh, any new records that are created. Thanks for watching.